Welcome to this video on how Virtuoso's codeless test automation can be used to test Dynamics 365, especially using Virtuoso's accelerators to be able to create tests rapidly against Dynamics 365 instances. Using Virtuoso's natural language to be able to author steps, for instance, navigating to a URL or writing a username into the username field, you're able to quickly put together end-to-end -to -end tests going through business workflows, for instance, logging in, creating an account, creating a contact against that account and so on. But also, Virtuoso has accelerators where we have ready-to-go sequences, such as the login steps, for example, or being able to create accounts, where there's also a method to be able to author tests, for instance, using specific natural language to be able to interact with form fields and enter data. So this video shows how you can both create in your projects, you can have Dynamics 365 test packs, which could include functional tests in the UI for logging in, creating account, create a contact, but also how you're able to interact using APIs. For instance, we can come into the UI and log in, including things like going through multi-factor authentication with the OTP codes, but then you can come and make, for instance, a token API call to get a token. And then you could either get account details by making an account call and then returning details of different accounts. And then you could use that to be able to uh, enter those into the UI to be able to form functional steps against. Or you could do things like create, in this case, an account detail via the API. So using the Microsoft endpoints, you're able to go through and both test within the user interface, but also leverage APIs to combine functional UI and integration testing. Once you have built your tests, which is as simple as starting your tests, but then either writing your test steps in natural language or dropping in, for instance, we could have our login steps, which we drop in, so pre-built sequences that can be dropped in. But then you could come in and start authoring tests with the natural language syntax. For example, we could add, let's say we want to open the accounts module. We could then say, look for, and in the sidebar, we can see there is a My Work header. So that locates Virtuoso's bots in that particular part of the page. Then we could say, click accounts. And without having to predefine any sort of model or object or selectors by doing the natural language, we can go and interact in this case, and you can see load up the accounts page. That's our live authoring. And then what you're also gonna be able to see is how when the tests are ready to be run, we can simply execute them. All tests are executed in Virtuoso's environment, and we get full test details stored in the project activity for test reporting. So we get fully versioned test reports. We can come in, have readable test steps, in natural language with screenshots automatically captured, things like timings, network events, and console logs captured to have fully versioned test results to demonstrate off the back of the automation. And in addition, we'll see how you can use Virtuoso self-healing, so whether there are dynamic changes. In this case, there's a class change within the My Work element. This is automatically healed by, by Virtuoso's machine learning algorithms for self-healing. So this is an introduction to how you can get started with Virtuoso's uh, accelerated solution for Dynamics 365. We have additional videos that show you actually how to then start loading in our test packs, which you can start immediately authoring against your Dynamics 365 instances.